What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Um, this is like a whole change of pace right here. And hold on, I got, I got thoroughly distracted. Look at this floor scrubber, guys. This thing is, whew. Dude, it's even got a place to hang the little squeegee on the back so you don't screw it up when you're loading and unloading. This, oh my goodness, look at that steering wheel. Whew. That might end up on the trailer before we leave here today. Daddy, get back there and help the guy. Okay, Jeez, okay, we gotta get that. Then what? what, what? Hopefully, if we push it fast enough, it, the trailer will tilt. I'm gonna hold this down for you. Give it the old heave in the hoe. Oh, feel the rhythm. Feel the speed. Right. <laughs> We're the Jamaican bob team. I don't fucking remember. Oh, jeez. It got shot, dude. Go, boys. Go. 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 Oh, my goodness gracious. Further. Further. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, don't stand on it yet. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright. Woo! Uh, well, I'm back. Alright. Hey, you want to lock the trailer and Jake? <laughs> yeah, stand on the front. <laughs> it's not not as bad as bringing the lift in. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we had a forklift. Maybe yeah. we can lift the other one on? He's got a forklift. Okay, yeah, that works too. Now, you guys might remember this this beautiful Maco toolbox here when it was over at Preston's uh, when Zach was over there. and. Clearly this thing has uh, lived a rough life kind of in the semi-outdoor space over here. I feel so bad for this box. She needs a she needs a buff and a polish. We gotta get some Renegade products out here, get this thing all nice and cleaned up. We're gonna put Dedic on it for the rest of the day, polishing this thing. I got some stuff to put on a truck. Yeah, that too, yeah. that too. Yeah, I'm honestly worried about it going <laughs> when I slam on the brakes. This is a lot of weight. This thing is full of tools, obviously. Uh, we're guessing less than 4,000 pounds, but it's on wheels and those wheels ain't gonna stop very good even with the brakes on but check out that suspension what we got some Beltec uh, lowering kit on there all right guys I feel better we put some ramps in here so if we do have to slam on the brakes it's gonna ramp up into the bed of my truck here and we'll be good to go well y'all we are putting a lot of faith in a two by four and this little like maybe inch and three-quarter lip here on the front of the trailer to keep this thing from flying off and the brakes I should say the brakes on the Matco box here Do some repairs here yep a little, you know, trailer maintenance while we're here. Yeah, I feel like the box will fall apart before this thing falls off. <laughs> I don't know about that. Not gonna lie, y'all. A little bit nervous. A little bit nervous about this thing. Dedic, if it starts going in traffic, you gonna jump out and like brace yeah, up against I'm it? Just gonna jump on it. All right, get her. Here goes nothing. Let's see if we make it. Has she moved yet, Dedic? No, nah. she's good. She's solid. Hi, Zach's truck. Bye, Zach's truck. Slow and steady's gonna win this race. Yeah, well, just hope everyone behind you has brakes. So we have brakes. Like, or maybe we don't want brakes. Don't no, slam on the brakes. You got not too much brake. Yeah, if you don't slam on the brakes, the trailer don't go flying don't off. Don't turn. Don't turn? No uneven roads. Alright. Hey, we got some bad news. <laughs> so we've noticed the trailer has our trailer. We've noticed the toolbox has shifted a little bit there on the trailer. She's a she's a little cockeyed now. Can we say that? Did it, can we say that? I don't know. Is that 2021 20, appropriate? Realistically, the politically term correct terms can kick it right now. Okay. We're worried. All right, keep an eye on it. Oh, nice and slow. I'm going slow. I can't go no slower. Yes, you can. You can go like half a mile an hour. Okay. People, the little dude in the scion behind you can kick rocks. All right, so as you can see, we got Zach over here. Pull. Works. Got it? Got it. Got it. Got Zach over here pulling all the boards off and everything we use to really secure this thing down on the trailer. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting, especially because this thing's already on that little slope. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of slanted that way. That's my beautiful parking job. You're welcome for that. Uh, do we want to try and like back it up and kind of like do the thing we talked about, or you just want to go for it? You can do whatever you want. No, it's your toolbox. Don't. No, you pick. Well, I mean, if it breaks, I get have that. So. That's saying. why I'm saying you pay. <laughs> well, good news is we've made it back to the shop here. Oh, geez. All right. Tahoe's yelling at me. We get it. We get it. There's stuff in front of me. I think this thing shifted a little bit, boys. <laughs> Shit, man. Right. Undo what? the thing yet. Make sure it's straight. What? Undo what? What happens if you undo that and the thing go back and then I go yeah, back? Hey, well, it's already undone, so like, we're committed at this point. Either way, the toolbox off the trailer. Yeah. This way it's going to skid and then hit a bump and then wham. Oh, it's going to make a bang move. Yeah. Push. I get in and unlock them. Unlock what? The wheels? All the stuff. We're off, boys. Strain her up. Good luck. Godspeed. Part is once it tips, it's going. I mean, it, it's got a freaking hydraulic ram on it. Can't go that fast. Oh, there she goes, boys. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, was that you said, Ryan? Oh, jeez. Was it can't go that fast. Okay. <laughs> that looked like that went perfectly, boys. Me and Zach lost our ankles yeah. there. Yeah. I got the magnet. Don't worry, boys. I got the magnet. We 
did it. That's all you did. God, this thing looks bigger in our shop than it does in that freaking <laughs> train. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna have to go there. All right, we got my truck unhooked from the trailer. Zach's gonna hook his truck up so he can take the trailer back. Zach rocking the little baby Gen Y. Now we got Dedek pulling his truck in here. One of the things we've learned about Dedek is, well, we kind of told him, if you say it on camera, it's gotta happen. He mentioned, what, a month ago? That he was gonna go with a 12 inch lift on this thing? Yeah, so, so you, can, you can cut to the footage where I did earlier today when I went to go pick him up. You'll see how excited I was. And yeah, I never told him what we actually got into that. Now do we tell him? <laughs> these are some big boys. Dude, <laughs> have you even tried picking one of these up yet? You gonna get a hernia? Yeah, another one. <laughs> um, yeah, so believe it or not, 12 inch leafs are stupid cheap for these trucks. So yeah, these were actually so cheap when I called up uh, Superlift. I actually had two in my cart and I was like, hey, just wanted to make sure that like, you know, this was gonna work in my truck. Like last time I ordered from you guys, we took forever. Are they in stock? You know, all, all the real questions I needed to ask. And they were like, hey, we just wanna know why do you have two sets in your, in your cart? And I was like, what do you mean two sets? And they were like, yeah, no, you're, you have two sets of Leafs in your cart. Sure enough, I was even skeptical when I pressed order. It was like, what, 320 for the set of 12 inch Leafs? And they both showed up and I was like, huh, they were being serious about it. 320 was for one set, whereas Daddy thought it was 320 per spring. Yeah, and I was even okay with that. Like I was getting ready to hit <laughs> confirm. And luckily, uh, I'm only doing a front lift because you know, now that I'm moving to the East Coast, I want to be with the E boys and I got to get that squat going. I got to get that. Oh yeah, shoot it. Got me tuned in. I forget to do this before every time I do something to a truck, and I've always wanted to. So from the center, what's that, Mr. Mr. Construction Man? That looks like 46. We'll call it 46. 46. All right. 46 inches. Bro. That's kind of big. But all right, 46 inches. Let's see what we can do. Let's tear down. You have an audience, buddy. It's okay. It's actually gonna go by real quick because I just put this lift on, so like nothing's like seized up, nothing's messed up. AKA nothing's tight. No. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just gotta drop the rear, that rear bolt and the leaf's come out. Amazing me they use that small of bolts in there. Yeah, so the new shackle upgrade that I think I'm gonna go with says, yeah, I'm doing 12 and 12, but I think it's gonna sit a little lower in the front with the Duramax in it. So they sell these heavy duty front hangers and they come with a larger bowl, everything. Cause that's the whole reason why I installed these was cause it opens it up to allow you to run a bigger bushing to run the bigger bowl. If I'm not sitting high tooted enough in the front. Oh, you got tooted enough, up extra. I got, I got tooted up extra. Go ahead, do that. I mean, they're your leaf, so. Dude, these things, like in all honesty, these things drove out to the ranch like twice. And then here, that's all the miles these leaves got on them. Nice. So when you have a leaf spring lift, essentially uh, the old lift's out. <laughs> There's your new lift sitting right there. Yeah. The only issue is, is it gonna be up high enough? I don't think so. I'm gonna probably have to take a wheel off, lower it down, bolt it in, put the wheel back on and do a bunch of it. It's probably gonna sit at this height, maybe a little higher. Oh. Yeah. That's a good thing you did all the, uh, the, the big engine work. Yeah, before yeah, we got it up in the air here. Oh, you could reach. Zach would be like, I got it, I got it. <laughs> got some bushing removal going on here. The struggle is real. Uh huh. You don't pull too much. These are the, these, those are the nice Kevlar ones. These are the, the rubber ones. Looking good. Nice. Hey, those ones come out easier. Yeah, way easier. These aren't the Kevlar ones. Making sure my wedges are lined up so I got to just look at the difference in just the wedge alone. Okay, bushing's going in the new springs. This thing's gonna be big. <laughs> so Teddy. Went to, uh, yeah, you, you can kind of see the difference there where that spring wants to sit from where the old one sat. And that's, that was hanging the axle too. Wow. Okay. Uh, I need, Start pulling some wheels off. I need the. Get it, guy. Okay, here we go. All right, go down. Hold on. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Yeah, please. Oof, I meant to disconnect my shot. I can think about the hole. Oh, God, I love it. You, you, really? Are you serious? Dedek just said I'm gonna have to disconnect the shock. Oh, literally, oh, I, literally I, hand tight on there and I he's been the, driving I, this thing. I put the tools down, all right? Oh, you put the tools down? Put the tools, can you jack it up a little bit? Right there, that should be good. Still going down. Keep it coming. Still going down. Keep it coming. Still going down. Yeah. Jesus. Back stop right there. Whoa, guy, whoa, guy. Alrighty, we got us another widow maker here. Oh, 
Getting the U-bolts put on the front axle. Go ahead and lower it down. Lower it down. U-bolts are on. Let's see how high we got to go now to get the tire on. <laughs> My tire is going to be here. Jeez. Not even like, ouch. Oh, it might go on right now. Let her down. <laughs> oh no, we're on the jack, okay. Oh, we're on the... <laughs> the jack stand. Passenger side spring is almost done here. I'm just getting the U-bolts put on. Albeit, leaf sprung trucks don't ride that great. The fact that you can lift them in 30 minutes is pretty nice. <laughs> right? No, for tires. Or tire. <laughs> yeah. That is off the jack. Yeah, jack stands or not, it literally doesn't sag at all anymore. Oh, she, so she's gonna be a soft ride there. Ooh. Good lord, all right. Let's get the other oh, I don't even think you're on this jack stand. No, I am, I'm barely on it. Keep going, all right. She's off, set her down. I don't really notice the difference. No? No, let's go sure. higher. Yeah, I think we should go higher. Sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me see about, cause you're a little, uh, you're a little more gifted in the height department. <laughs> so that was ride height before. Yeah. You sure that wasn't fully compressed? No, fully compressed is like up here. You can see it on the other one. So, geez, that's like four and a half inches of lift. That's where we were sitting. <sighs> that's crazy. And then, and right now, fully drooped. They will not even, oh, oh, it's close. No, it, the boat won't go through. Oh. It's a good thing you got long enough brake lines though, you know? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get longer ones. But it's easy though, because I've already got all the fittings. So this is a three, attack three AN. Then I just got to get the proper fitting to adapt up here. And I just leave the banjo bolt there and then just get, you know, a little bit extended. Which I mean, that honestly doesn't, that's not bad. I think you got plenty in there. Now while Dedek's going through and finalizing everything and tightening everything up, which is again, another a strange concept for Dedek there. Um, let me give you guys kind of a little update on the shop that you see here behind us. Obviously you clicked on this video because I told you we got some giant news. Um, it's, it's good news and it's bad news. So we'll just kind of jump into it. You guys notice probably that uh, all of Zach's stuff's getting moved over to the shop. Unfortunately, due to the Rona, uh, the economy, uh, a lot of other factors, um, you know, nobody's untouchable from that. So like a lot of people, Zach, um, unfortunately, his company closed down the division that he works for, so he got laid off. And timing wise, it, it, it almost worked out right. Again, it, it sucks for him, but something me and him have been talking about for a long time is, you know, we've got a nice shop back here. We've got a lift, we've got, I mean, Zach's incredibly talented. And a lot of you guys have hit me up to have Zach do some work on your vehicles. So we decided that we're gonna basically start using my shop to uh, be able to build some of your guys' vehicles. Now we're not gonna do, you know, 100 vehicles at once. We wanna be able to have Zach focus on his art and do one or two vehicles at a time in here. Uh, lift kit installs, lighting, whatever it may be, we wanna be able to handle everything out of our shop. So I think it's gonna be a big change, but it's gonna be hopefully a change for the good. Uh, Zach enjoys building vehicles. That's his passion, that's his love. So giving him a space where he can do that. And if you guys remember, um, Zach's the one that's built all my trucks and the shop that he actually worked for ended up uh, shutting down. In my opinion, that was the best shop in town. And being that that shop's gone, you really don't have a lot of great options. So we wanna be able to be that great option. You know, Zach's done a ton for me. He's taking care of all my vehicles. And to be able to give back to him and give him a space to be creative, again, open it up to customers, um, hopefully you guys, I think it's gonna be a really cool collaboration. And if you guys are interested, shoot me an email, dmaxrhino at hotmail.com. There's a link um, down in the description. Let's get something on the books. Um, we can get your lift kits ordered. We can get whatever you want. Or if you want to order the stuff, bring it to us. We can install it. And don't worry, we'll keep Dedek far away from your stuff so all your bolts are tight. You ready? Oh, jeez. You gotta climb up the tire like a monster truck. One, two, one. You got it, buddy. I can't get rid of that drip rail now. How's it feel, tooted? She feel tooted. You looking at the sky? Oh, let me go over everything, make sure. Tighten everything? Is this, is this what you do when you wonder, no wonder if stuff's not tight. Okay. What are you doing? That's full lock. Full lock. Oh, so Denix also got a whole brand new steering setup ordered for this truck because, uh, especially with this lift kit, he can literally get it to wheels to turn. That's full lock. Yeah, yeah you're going to be going straight back and straight in. That's full lock on his turn right now. I'm not sure why you're even trying to turn. That's going to be a 62 point turn. Uh, she's definitely got that tooted look now that uh, Dedek was going for over here. Being that's going to be an East Coast truck soon. It's up there. <laughs> we definitely got to go bigger than a 37 now. Yeah, that's for sure. 46 at first, right? Yep. 50. Oh, that's crazy. Four inch lift really is a four inch lift. <laughs> On a leaf sprung truck. Yeah.
I must like it in the butt. I say I lower it in the rear. Can you pull it on bag so you can drag the back end? Florida ain't gonna take me like this. Yeah, we gotta have more tooted. Yeah, all the toots. All the toots. Next up on the agenda for today, Dedek got these uh, not that great of looking turn signals for the front of his truck here. So we're gonna use the VHT nightshades and smoke them a little bit, make them look a little better. I walk away for two seconds and Dedek starts modeling on his truck over here. What are you doing? You're the photo shoot. Jeez. Got you a little back. Oh, oh God. Is that your new Tinder profile? Hell yeah. All right, we did a quick little mask job here. Nothing too crazy. All this is gonna be getting hidden by the bezel anyway, so we'll come in with our nightshades here and do a couple of coats and tint these things. And hopefully we got enough, because this can's pretty empty. It takes a lot of little coats. I think they recommend like, I don't even know, two to three coats. Apply one light coat or just enough to change lens. Do not exceed more than three coats or light may not shine through. I think I did like 15 coats on the turn signals on Dave's van. Mostly because they were amber and we were trying to hide the fact that they were amber because they look horrible. Oh God. What's wrong with them? You don't see what's wrong with them? No? I was just messing with you, buddy. There's nothing wrong with you. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> Dedek walked over and he's like, where are they? I can smell it. You're doing it. You were, and I'm like, oh, I screwed him up, man. You had that guilty look. You're like, hey, bud. I was like, where are they? <laughs> where are they? I'm thinking like at least three more coats. Are we going smoked? You have the better designing ability. I put leaves on and toot my truck. You make it look pretty in the front. Okay, deal. So the first coat is dry here. And now, mind you, it looks way different on camera probably than in person because of all the little the little variations they put there in the old light but the only thing about smoking stuff is you'll see how like you get these little splotches because it is such a thin layer you're trying to make transparent but you can see even when you do it on the cardboard there these splotches now since we're in the paint slash smoke mood here we're going to uh Get these silver bezels that are gonna go around the lights. We're gonna paint those black. Some rust oleum, some primer. Use on metal and fiberglass. Close enough, yeah, plastic, close enough. Now, Denik, paint job wise, we're just gonna match the quality of this beautiful yeah, factory not, paint job, right? That's not. You know, the sad part is, I think they tried replicating like what GM was doing back then. Uh, we had a little blowout here on this hole, too. A little, a little cracked. We'll get the Bondo, we'll uh, doctor this up. Getting the prep work done properly over here. Hey, buddy, you might have a future in like distressed furniture. Yeah, yeah, think? great work, buddy. I, think it I like the little swirl right there, a little chicken scratch. Yeah, you got You got to change it up a little bit. I'm changing the game. Mm -hmm, changing the game. All right, let's uh, get these things primed. Well, the bezels are all primed. Dedek has pulled his uh, front end apart here. He's going to take the headlights. Well, he needed to get longer screws for the headlights, so he pulled the screws out. Gonna run AutoZone real quick, get some longer screws. Meanwhile, we're gonna shift over to painting these black. First coat's done. Daddy, you need me to paint that grill for you too? Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, turn signal's turned out pretty good. I think it's nice and dark. Dark enough, there it is against the grill. I think it's... It'll blend in pretty good, which is kind of the idea here. It's just don't let them stand out so much. What are we doing with these uh, horn blasters, train horns here? Oh, I'm still under contract for 20 years. Oh, okay. <laughs> these are the first horn blaster horns and... They're actually metal. Yeah. Dang. Oh, dude, that's got to go on the freaking Zuma. We got one, one on each side of the handlebars? Let's see what we got here. <laughs> it's actually kind of loud. Now we, now we can remote mount it. Shove it in there, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. I almost want to build a mount just to be like... I want to make like a little model train and put those on. So instead of got the front end apart here, um, all this back plate here on the... It was all just horrible looking. So he went ahead and just put a nice thick coat of some matte black. On the core support. Hey man, it's a little chilly outside right now. Uh, 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 uh. So, uh, what's the plan with these, buddy? 
probably gonna order two new ones. Half painted, one not painted. Side markers here. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so I'm probably just gonna order some two new ones. Well, while we wait for everything to dry, we just got a little little mock-up going on over here. Should we pull these little trim rings out and paint them black while we're here? Take them off to get the screws anyway, so. All right, pull it, let's pull it off, let's get them painted. I mean, that, that ugly rust isn't gonna look good on this whole fresh black setup we got going on here. You've seen it all now. <laughs> no, you only did it because you told me to do it. You've seen it all now, no. folks. <laughs> oh, you better not. You better not. I only did it because you told me to, don't you dare. Okay. You were like, oh, I'm going to do this. And I'm like, don't do it. And you're like, do it? I was like, no, I don't do it. I was like, I kid. I kid? I kid. You're like, dude, you're not a man. And I was like, okay. We spray paint everything around here. We changing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs trans coolers anyway? That stuff's overrated. Yeah, this, thing, this thing runs super cold as is. We've got the headlight bezels painted and are drying. Meanwhile, Dedek's over here running some wiring to get the harnesses for the lights. As you can see with the grill installed now and everything painted black, everything just blends in absolutely beautifully, especially that painted trans cooler there. It looks great. We also went ahead and painted the side markers, being that one of these already had paint on it from the original owner, that, or not original, but the owner Dedek bought it from, um, and it was basically not going to be salvageable. So at least they'll blend in. No, they won't show any light through, but whatever. Here you go, it's buddy. Rounding bolt. Make sure you tighten this one, okay? Nah, hand tight only. Really, dude? A wire nut, or what is it? No. Yeah, There's yeah, a wire nut, but look what's holding onto it. One single strand. Jeez. And the sad part is, it was still working like that. That's a custom wire job right there, buddy. The old owners really knew what they were doing. Even two idiots garage knows your wire nut and then you electrical tape over top of it. You know, you gotta keep it watertight. All right, turn signals are going on. They uh, ended up being pretty dark. Yeah, they dried a little dark. It's gonna look good though, buddy, trust me. Is that fresh grade eight? Only the best. Dang. Ooh, we are looking good, guys, looking good. They almost have a weird kind of blue tint to them, though. Maybe the bezel going around them will kind of hide that. We stop letting light in through the top there, darkens them up. It's gonna be a mean K20. Can we rename your Instagram, mean K20? Yeah, we're spending so much time to make these disappear because they looked bad. <laughs> we're just not gonna address yeah. all the chipping pain, the I'm blue paint. Oh, you don't see it? I'm not sure, man. I'm Beauty is skin deep. Looking good, buddy, looking good. Lights are getting reassembled here. We should, we should have painted the buckets. Those you'll never see. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so. And if you do, we'll pop them out and do them. Look at that, buddy. That right there is a good looking front end. Everything all blacked out, nice and clean. Don't mind the couple of fingerprints that it put in the paint. I don't like the 12 inch lift. We gotta go back down. The tire's still the same to climb on. A lot of jumps. Down more. All right, let's see how she looks. I mean, you can still see the amber pretty well. I actually thought that was not going to show up that well, being that we tinted them as dark as we did. The LED bulbs help being back there, but I think it actually looks that cool. That actually looks sweet. Yeah, I like it. I like the way that looks back there. Heck yeah. Give me a left. Oh, yep, they work. No hyper flash, nothing. Oh yeah, you got incandescent bulbs on. I thought they were LED. Right one works. We all set up. This thing's almost ready, buddy. Well, y'all, with that, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now. They do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Daddy! You got to work for it. And then what? Oh, roll the outro. Damn.